Welcome to Let's Talk Fashion, powered by Bangalore Fashion Week. I'm here with designer Ruchi Sharma, who's just showcased her collection Under the Water at the 22nd edition of Bangalore Fashion Week. How are you feeling this evening? Wonderful. Yeah? Just did the show and it feels great. You're glowing. I can see it <laughs> in your face. You, I really love your outfit, by the way. It looks oh, very pretty. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your inspiration behind this collection and the name of it. So the theme of this collection is Under the Water. So basically all the aquatic animal creatures mm -hmm. you have under the water, the waves you have, the color palettes you have, mm -hmm. the little, little little elements that you can use in the design form in mm -hmm. your outfits. Mm -hmm. So basically the collection is all about that. Very nice. So tell me something about your journey as a designer. My journey as a designer began long, long, long time back. Okay. But uh, this time is the first time we are launching here in India. Okay. We have been selling outside India a lot. Okay. And to the UAE, to the Saudi market, to the mm -hmm. European market. Okay. And uh, with Indian market, Bangalore Fashion Week happened. Very and nice. Bangalore is a mature market. Mm -hmm. And what I do is organic fabric. Oh, wow. Okay. And we do a lot of hand embroideries. Okay. My collection won't have machine embroidery or computer embroidery mm -hmm. or any artificial element that I would say. Okay. I believe in going back to the roots. I mm -hmm. believe in going back to our heritage, mm -hmm. which is hand embroidery, hmm. which is organic fabrics. Yes. So let's use that. Let's create fashion out of that, which can be in your trousseau for a long time. Yes. And it is apt for any every occasion. Mm -hmm. So just exercise in a different way and you're ready to go. Very nice. So you mentioned that you've worked with a lot of clients that aren't from the Indian market. So can you tell me a little bit about the difference between an international market and an Indian market and how you sort of made that jump? See, I do organic mm -hmm. and I do hand embroideries. Hmm. When these two things combine, there is an emotional factor. There is hmm. a soul to the brand. Hmm. And this soul travels with me everywhere across the world. Okay. When we talk about, talk to different clients about it, mm -hmm. they also get connected. That okay. you are doing something good. You are taking care of the nature. You are giving uh, employment to the artisans. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have uh, computer embroidery, you just need one man to operate it. Yeah. When you have machine embroidery, might be you will need a couple of people to operate it. Mm -hmm. When you have hand embroidery, which is our heritage, you give employment to a lot of people. Yes. So let's do that. Let's care about the environment. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the nature will take care of us. I think that's a beautiful thing that you've kept in mind, you know, giving back to everybody that supported you in your journey this way because these are the people whose talent and gifts that we are trying to revive and it's right. amazing that designers like you are sort of giving them that extra boost to continue it because for some for some people it's genuinely been passed down in their legacy it's been passed yes, down through yes, generations yes, cottage yes. industries entire families are you know doing embroideries and things like that which I think is wonderful that you've maintained it oh thank you so what are your plans in the future as a designer have you already started working on your next collection or not yet mm -hmm. this collection has just launched and okay. uh, soon whenever you'll see my next collection it will be organic it will be having a lot of hand embroideries mm -hmm. hand embroideries is our forte yes and uh, we want to carry this legacy forward. We want Con to carry our heritage forward. That's definitely. All. And considering how beautiful this one was, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more from you and oh. your label. Oh, that's good. Thank very you so nice, much. Very nice. Very nice. Is you. there anything that you'd like to share with um, budding artists, budding designers who are looking for just a little bit of encouragement to make it in the industry? I would just say have a good work experience before just jumping into the industry okay. as a label mm -hmm. because uh, when you work, when you explore, you get a lot of industry experience. Hmm. Then create your own brand, mm -hmm. but brand should always have a soul. Yes. Don't uh, create numerous things. Mm -hmm. Just stick to the soul of the brand. Mm -hmm. Like my brand has organic soul. My yes. brand has embroidery. These mm -hmm. are the two key elements that I take forward. Mm -hmm. So whosoever is designing, they would have a soul. Just stick to your soul and things will fall on its place. Your clientels will be happy and moreover, you will be happy. Yeah, I think, I think that's a lovely, lovely thought, you know, to have. And oh. on that note, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> this is Diksha signing off. I'll see you next time and let's talk fashion.